Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where I'm still having my uh, lovely little problem here with too many in here. Hopefully they'll get this fixed. But in the, in the meantime, this is currently running really slow. And we got to work on nuclear pasta. Uh, Chris K pointed out that the new chainsaw is you have to toggle. No, that's not what I want to do. It says you have to toggle it. Switch to area mode. Look at that. I didn't even see it. It's in front of my face. Go, Chris. Telling me what to do because I mess up completely. Okay, so <laughs> we know we need some items. These engines over here are taking forever to get done. Let's go check this out real fast. I mean, it ain't like anything happened since last time I was logged on. But maybe we can figure out a way to speed all this up since we don't need all that anymore. At least not for now. So there's 24 in here right now, which push me over the puts me over the 100 mark. But how do I speed all of this up? Because these things take stators and wires. Wires are hurting me right now. Which, you know what? I could take all this down. Why are you taking it down? You could build it up later. Yeah, I could. I don't want to. I'm taking all of it. It's right here down for now. These are extra parts I don't need hanging around in the ceiling for a while. And I can come back and build them later as needed. I'm sure I'm going to get lost. Here's the fun lost part. See, that part is not what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. And you. I got to be careful here. Make sure I don't take down the wrong one. Is it this one? No, it is not that one. Uh, that's plates. See what I mean? I got a mess of goodies, and I, I think they were coming out of somewhere around here. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find them one day. And this is... Oh, here's the steel ones. Yep, oh, got to get that little bit here. Whoops. And you. And you. Go all the way over here. Man. You always forget how much you do when, until you have to undo it. So these steel ones, I think, were here, right? Yes, they were. Which were coming off this line. I'll leave that there. Ooh, man. I peeled out a bunch of stuff, didn't I? Let's get rid of this grass real quick. And goodbye. It's funny. I never got these sped up. Doesn't really look like I need these sped up, though, does it? Mark twos are holding. These look like they're holding nicely. Yep. The plastic is not. I need to speed the plastic up a bit, but I think I'm doing okay with that. So I'm not worried about that so much. Those are okay. Steel plates are fine. Motors are good. Oh, supercomputers. That's right. I forgot about this. Supercomputers are feeding in there. Oh, yeah. I don't need these feeding here anymore. Get rid of this. And that. Now, the problem with these, again, is the wires. I need to speed up the wires. And I can't put any more in these back here. Um, what do I want to do here? See, computers are here. Circuit boards are fine. I got tons of that. Heavy 
modular frames are coming from here. Probably need to speed those up. I know the regular frames, I think I got to speed up too. Oh, yeah, see. Ooh, yeah. This is, these are going to need to be sped up. Where are those things coming from? Surprisingly, these are doing pretty good. Versatile framework. I guess I'll have to put those away somewhere. Um, yeah. Hmm. I think... I'm just going to let those go for now. I want to look at this nuclear pasta thing. We haven't looked at nuclear pasta, and we really need to start looking at it to see what's needed, what I need to get in done to get things done. But for now, we are going to... I guess I could put the plastic away. Oh, here we go. We're going to drop off these things. Quantum computers. I don't know what I'm going to do with quantum computers. That... Uh, oh, rubber. I might need some rubber. I need, need some plastic. Hmm. I could drop off these. I could drop off a few of these. Uh, all right, let's, let's go look at this uh, nuclear pasta. And it's funny. The only reason I remember the name, I just thought it was so funny. All right, so there's a question mark one right down there. Copper? Really? And then pressure conversion cubes. Ooh. I got this, don't I? Yes, I do. Radio control units? Infused modular. So I need them in the assembler? Let's go look. Wait, can I build assembler? What do I need for an assembler? Oh, yeah. Because I think I have a bunch of these over here. And then all I need to do is cop. I thought I need nuclear power from nuclear pasta. So if I put an assembler... And we go with pressure conversion cubes. And you have four on you. What about you? You do not. Let's take you here. Now, on this one, I need the fused and the radio control units. These are the fused. So I can just do five straight into. Why is that not going? Oh, I'm using the wrong one. Dang it. So that's five. Shite. I hit the wrong one. Oh, well. And then the radio control unit is that one, right? This is. No, that's a cooling system. Is this the radio control? No, that's two turbo motors. Wait, where was the right? What's the radio control? Am I making radio control units? I thought I was. Ooh, I am, but I'm not making them fast. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Wait, didn't I shut these down? We're shutting all this down. I don't need to make any of these at all. Which means for now, I could shut this down. I don't need to make those at all. Let's put these back into there. Um, put those in here. Put those in there. These and this one, I have to find a use for later on, but 
so... Yeah, okay, so I'm not making that right now. Which means I can take this. And we could like twist this over here. All the way here. And wait, right there. So radio control units going in. One per minute. So one per minute, two per minute. I think I'll be all right with that. Um, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's what I'm doing. I'm losing my mind. All right, so we're going to put you there. We're just going to pump these up for a while. Let them run. And you're going to make me 2.5 per minute. Uh, it should be perfect. I haven't even made one yet. Pressure conversion cubes. Converts outgoing forces into internal pressure required to contain unstable high energy. Oh, okay. I get it. So I got one of those. Now let's go back to nuke. Nuclear pasta. So all I need is a pressure conversion cube and copper powder. And that's it? I really thought something nuclear would be involved in this. Ground up copper ingots. Oh, it takes 30 to make five? Whoa, that's actually a lot. Wow, okay. Yeah, 50 per minute though. So what I got to look for is copper deposits that I'm not using. Which I know I got a pure one here. Wait, what? that's iron. Is this? No, that's iron. That's copper. There's two coppers right there. A normal and a pure. Hmm. Hmm, yes, I say with great certainty that I'm going to use that one. Maybe. What was this? Why did I? I know I marked this a couple episodes ago for some reason, and I don't remember why. So I'm just removing it for now. I think I had power storage there, right? I got a docking station here, which I could run... I could either run the copper powder here, or I could run the, the cues from here out to there. I think the copper powder coming back would probably be better. Okay, so I need two miners at least. I kind of feel like that's not going to be enough. 70, 800. So let's go over here. Let's get these copper miners going. Because we need to start making 100 nuclear pasta. I really thought nuclear power was going to be involved in this. That's why I made that thing over there with the nuclear stuff. But, okay. But it is what it is. So I don't need these right now. And portable miners. I need at least four of them. Wait a minute. Uh, no. Didn't I have portable miners? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay. For some reason, I felt like I had portable miners. One, two, three, four. Oh, they stack now. Remember, they didn't stack before. Nice. Okay. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, copper powder. Constructor. I feel like that I'm going to need to push them further. Uh, constructor, I got plenty of stuff for. 
So, all right, let's do that. Let's uh, let's mark these on the map. Uh, I'll just put this here, and we'll highlight this one. There it is. Look at that beautifulness over there. Okay, so let's make our way over there so we can start building. Okay, so here's a little issue I have. One side is uh, copper and one side is iron. Dang, nabbit. I thought they were both copper. Everything over there looks good and it's going well. Dang it. So why did I think they were both copper? Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of went right next to each other. I wasn't paying attention. I'd like to get a couple areas of copper near each other. That's iron. I should use that later on as much as I can. Uh, there is some copper here. Hmm. I might as well just go ahead and start the process here. Actually, actually, how about I do... Oh, that's right. You got to do zoot. Well, I was going to line it up with all of this, but it goes right underneath anyway. And not enough. Which means I have to do... That's not what I was going for. And take you away. I just wanted to keep you guys on the same level. Probably should have went one higher. come back later when I actually have some uh, more concrete but anyway let's go with a mark 2 right here maybe I should put you here you start mining And you need to go to a smelter. Probably multiple smelters. You know what? No. I'm learning my lesson. Um, let's change up this real quick. It's much easier to do this from the sky. All right. So we're going to put in a storage crate then we're gonna put in I don't have a lot of this I'm gonna put in smelters I'm gonna put in a couple smelters but just slightly behind it And we are going to put in splitters. This has become my whole new favorite design.
Is that not fitting? Yeah, I guess not. I guess I gotta pull it out just a little bit more. You there. You there. You there. Now, I do want to change this. Was that already it? No. Why won't that change? Huh. Was I on the wrong one? Did I have a four? I feel like I had a four. All right, so we're making this, this, and this. This will make 30 per minute, taking 30 per minute. This will produce 120 a minute, 30, 60, 90. So I should be getting more in than I'm producing outwards. Then clean up the grass. We have to take a constructor. I really think I need to go get um, more concrete though. Cause I kind of want this to go like here. And I want to do mergers. Going this way. This way. That way. I'll feed those in. All right. I am out of, I'm down to eight concrete, which is crazy. You have a power slug. Uh, let me grab that power slug over here, go back get concrete, and I'll come right back. picked up some more concrete so I can uh, level off this area a bit which doesn't look like it's working too well huh guess I should have went out this way more huh although I got iron there I don't want to block the iron up because I might use that one day um darn it I guess I could just do it upwards, couldn't I? Eh, why not? Let's do this kind of a ramp here. Yeah, that 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 works out decently, right? So now we got to make constructors, right? Let's put this as close to this side as we can get it and make sure that's exactly what we can do. Yes, copper powder. And then you will come right there. So all I need to do is make more instructors.
You think this will be enough constructors or too many? Probably gonna be too many. But you know what? So be it. 300 per minute. <laughs> it's gonna be way too many. Oh, wow. Okay. There's no way. Holy cow. All right. These things are going to take 300 a minute. These only produce 30. I need 10 of these to eat, use one of these. What? <laughs> There's no point. There's no point in any of these here. That's just insane, but okay. So... For some reason, I was thinking I could, I could do a few of them. I want to put that one like that way. I don't need to speed those up at all. I need to speed these up. So that'll do 75 per minute. 75, 75, and 75 is one, uh, two of them is 150, right? And that's 225. That's still not enough. I need at least one more. Oh, what am I doing a refinery for? Magnetic. I need a smelter. I'll put you right up against it. And a splitter. Why is it not locking onto you? Because it's sitting up on the ground, right? Nope, it's because I put this one in backwards. Because that's what I do. Oh boy. Go that way, that way. And then we need to get this. And you go there. Then I need a merger. You there and you there. So if this is eating, okay, because I want to speed all these up. 75, oh, 75 in, 75 out. Oh, man, that's going to be a 30. So that's 150, right? 225. That's 300 right there between those. This is only 120 a minute, which will be 300 a minute. So these will be running exactly what I need, a 300 per minute, to run me 50 of these per minute. Okay. Nuclear pasta, which takes 200 produced in a particle accelerator. That is a particle accelerator. Where's the particle accelerator? Holy moly. 
250 to 1500 megawatts. This is electromagnetic fields propel particles to higher high speeds of energy and this allows for a variety of processes including matter generation and conversions. Warning, power use is extremely high and unstable and varies per recipe. Oh my goodness. I mean, I got these items, but whoa. So I need to build a part of the accelerator. And then I need to get these items shipped all the way back there. Am I running out? Yeah, I am. Oh, I'm not speeding this up. But how do I get these items shipped back there? I don't want to build a whole trucking system. Drone port? This is a port for a single drone, which transports available input. Nine inventory slots. Okay, well, let's see what this is. This will do, right? I mean, I need to run back to the base, but let's do that. Okay, so it looks like I need turbo motors. I only need 10 of them. Actually, what I want to do is drop some of the other stuff off, too. Drop off this grass and all of that. I'm really interested in building this drone thing, because I've never done that before. Never built a drone. So I'm just curious on how that'll work out. Yes, we'll go this way. Much easier. And... Are you away for now? I don't want to take that with me as... I need other things. Radio control units. I did need that, didn't I? Yes, radio. I need 11 of them. And I only have eight there. Heavy modular frames. I don't know if I needed that. Um. Oh, I got more radio control units. AI. I know these items. I got a bunch of those items somewhere. Not here, though. Let's go over here and look real quick. Alicat I have over there. But I might have some over here that I can just take. Well, the AI's over this side. Um, actually, I need those, don't I? High-speed connectors. Supercomputer fuse things. Ooh, man, I gotta make room. AI. I do gotta make room for something. I gotta get rid of these items. Let me finish getting prepared for all this and I'll be right back. Got all the parts to build this thing. Which is kind of much bigger than I thought. Okay. 
first let's do this all right let's make more foundations That'll be big enough. Um, what's that? Train. Yes, it definitely will. Wait a minute, it's got to go in from this side. So if I was going in here, so this thing should be connected to electricity. What's the pull on this? It seems. Now, when I put that particle accelerator on this thing, I wonder what it's going to do. Okay, so this is. Oh, I got to put fuel in here? So, wherever I get, grab it from, it's got to have fuel. Dang it, I was kind of hoping it would just be electricity. All right, so. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm looking at it going, where's the drone? This will be the drone. Target, no destination. This port is Arlandia, and it's going to be Hop Powder India. In. <laughs> See how, like, Original that is copper and So this is going to be the load port. Is there a load button? Um, why is this showing nothing in here? Is it going in here automatically? Drone port this port Oh, all ports. Okay. Can I not interact with the drone itself? I bet you all that stuff's going into the drone. So I got to go over there, over to the base, and make another drone port. So let me do that. Okay, so I think I should make the other drone port, like, right here. Probably... Right here. And then... We'll close that up. So, the other drone port... Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the other drone port. Let's put it like that. And then... Nice wire going through. So this will be... What was the other... <laughs> I can't forget my own names. I want all ports. Cop powder... Cop pow... I should have said cop pow. Pop powder, India out. In that original. All right, so the nation port should be in here. Out. So this should be the drop port. Three point seven stacks per minute. How do I know which one's the out? The battery in. So 
So should we go in here? Here. And all I gotta do is bring that fuel type over here. Which we can do here. You know what? I don't need to do it that way. I can actually do it this way. And then I just got to bring it all the way across all these goody places. Let me run the fuel real fast. Oh, wow, look, the drone's here. Look at that. So I dropped them off. Yes. So. It's working. How long will it take to get over here, though? That's what I want to know. Close that up. I want to see where it's at. Then I could drop those down and I got to make the other thing here in a second. Come on, where are you at? How long will it take to get over here? Come on. Looks like a the top of that particle accelera accelerator. Where is that particle accelerator? There it is. How long does it take to get over here? It shouldn't take too long. Okay, well, I don't know how long it's going to take. I was kind of hoping to see it fly, but... Alright, so... Oh, that's good. I'm always looking up because I want to see where it's at. How long does it take? So it's the status this. Is it going to wait till it's completely full? I don't understand the drone system yet, but all right. So I need a particle accelerator. Oh, wait a minute. This thing's huge. Wait a minute. Oh, this thing is really big. Uh, okay. So we're going to put this right here. And then we're going to put you here. Scared me for a second. And drop you. Particle accelerator, baby! And then we are going to make nuclear pasta. Really curious on how. Wait. Okay, so the copper needs to go from here. No, that's the end. I need the out. And there. Then I need to use these pressure conversion cubes. Is 
what should come out of this. Yep. And we will take this thing. Make it look somewhat neat. Oh, it makes a noise. Oh, what's the power going to be like? Seven hundred megawatts. Holy moly. Oh, is this thing going to shut down my system? That's my, uh, photo. I was kind of hoping to see where that thing would come over. Let's go look at something really quick. So I guess this is right here where it got all wound up, right? And right now it's getting wound up. Consumption, production. Okay, so my production is still decent. It's not getting into 9,000, but I, I bet you I got to make more power. That's all there is to it. Ooh, consumption was there where power went. Look, consumption went over to power. Uh oh. Oh no. Why? Why? Because it's making nuclear pasta. I have one. All right, so I have to come up with a. Why is my. I was going down. I wonder if it's because I'm losing power. I need power. What's a nuclear power plant? Nuclear, nuclear water produce electricity consumes nuclear rods. The other one hasn't come over yet though. I'm thinking this nuclear pl power plant Produces nuclear waste, which can be extracted from conveyor belts. Always generates power. Set clock speed. Shuts down. The requirements are not met. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll end the episode here. We will come back next episode. And uh, we're going to look at getting a nuclear power plant up. I'm not exactly sure what's involved, but, uh, 250 megawatts? I might even do some more geysers, though. Geysers are pretty good. 600 megawatts, 400 megawatt average. Is this how much it costs, 250, or how much it produces? No, these are 2,500. I said 250. 2,500. Okay. So we'll definitely do that next episode. Look, uh, look to see what we can do to get that producing. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you next episode. Thanks, Chris K.